2 18 p.m. BS Televen women had a shot at emerging from the Australian Open holding the number one world ranking. Indian Wells champion Bianca Andreescu was not one of them. Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal and Stan Wawrinka, each of whom has won multiple Grand Slam singles titles, competed at Indian Wells the past two weeks. Dominic Team won the title, his first Masters 1000 triumph. In a tournament full of upsets, teen wildcard Bianca Andreescu taking the women's crown and Dominic Team beating Roger Federer for the men's title only seems fitting. In less than three months, Bianca Andreescu has gone from no. 178 in the world to the BNP Paribas Open Finals, where she'll face three-time Grand Slam champ Angelique Kerber. Volatility is the buzzword for the pro game these days. The WTA is producing contenders at an uninterrupted clip, while the Big Four are slowly but surely loosening their grip on the ATP. Two major tournaments are in the books so far in 2019, the Australian Open and Indian Wells. The year's 19 ATP tournaments haven't produced a single successful defending champion, while the 13 WTA events have generated only two. So far this year, seven ATP pros have broken through to win their first titles. So what will it be at the Miami Open, in the last tournament of the long, fragmented early hard-court season, further volatility or last-ditch restoration of the status quo? Here are some clues on both the women's and men's sides for the Miami Open, which opens first round play on Tuesday and runs through March 31st. Full schedule of when and where to watch on the ESPN family of networks below. WTA 2018 Final, no. 13 seed Sloane Stevens D. Number 6 Yelena Ostapenko Top seed, no. 1. Naomi Osaka Former champions entered, Stevens, Serena Williams, Johanna Conta, Victoria Azarenka Notably absent, Maria Sharapova, shoulder, players to watch you, can bet all eyes will be on defending champion and no. 4. Seed Sloane Stevens She busted out of the long slump that followed her win at the 2017 US Open last year in Miami, her confidence carrying her right through the clay court season to the French Open final but with a load of rankings points to defend and a woeful 5-5 record thus far in 2019, Stevens probably will feel plenty of pressure. New sensation Bianca Andreescu also will be the focus of great attention, but she's likely to still be physically, mentally and emotionally exhausted from her spectacular title run at Indian Wells. Don't expect much. Number 8 seed Angelique Kerber played a terrific final at Indian Wells and hasn't lost before the round of 16 all year. That kind of consistency is a good sign, especially if the courts at the new Miami site the tournament has moved from its previous home in Key Biscayne to Miami's Hard Rock Stadium this year, play on the faster side. It's hard to get accustomed to seeing Serena Williams seated so low, no. 10, but then she hasn't won a tournament since the beginning of 2017, has there ever been a less flamboyant world no. 2 than Petra Kvitova, but beware, while the two-time Wimbledon champ took a tough loss to Venus Williams in her first match at Indian Wells, she's off to a fine start in 2019, with a title and a Grand Slam final that somehow slipped through her fingers added to her resume. Belinda Bensick, rank no. 20 in the world in rising, had her 12-match winning streak halted last week by Kerber. Look for her to bounce back. Desperate for a win while world no. 3 Simona Halep's 12-5 record isn't exactly awful, she has dropped from the top spot in her losses all were to players ranked between no's, 16 and 61, no. 13 seed Caroline Wozniacki is just 3-3 this year and has struggled with rheumatoid arthritis and an unspecified virus. Number 17 seed Madison Keys is a dismal 4-3 for the year, and that includes a Fed Cup win over world number 157 Kimberly Burrell. Former champions Victoria Azarenka and Johanna Kanta are struggling, and neither is seeded.
Conta is 7-5 in tournament play this year, Azarenka just 4-5, key potential matchups if Osaka gets past erratic but always dangerous multiple Grand Slam champion Garbine Muguruza, seeded no. 20, in a potential fourth round clash, she might face either 2018 breakout star Arena Sabalenka, no. 9, are Kerber in the quarterfinals, and Kavitova in the semis. Stevens could have back-to-back -back matches in the third and fourth rounds, respectively, with struggling but dangerous heavy hitters Camilla Georgi, seeded no. 29, and last year's finalist, Ostapenko, number 22, Serena Williams could meet tough out Alina Svitolina, seeded number 6, in the fourth round and hail up in the quarterfinals. And we could get a rematch of Sunday's Indian Wells finals early in Miami, if both advance, Andreescu and Kerber would meet in the third round. Sloane Stevens is the defending women's champion at the Miami Open, but she enters this year's tournament after losing her first match at Indian Wells. Adam Davis, Icon Sports Wire as defending champion, no. 14 seed John Isner D. Number 4 Alexander Zarev top seed, Novak Djokovic former champions entered, Djokovic, Roger Federer notably absent, Rafael Nadal, knee, Juan Martin Del Potro, knee, players to watch no. 1 seed Djokovic is the only man to complete the Sunshine Double, winning Indian Wells and Miami in succession, four times. Having been bushwhacked by World No. 42 Philip Cole Schreiber in the third round at Indian Wells, you can bet Djokovic will be motivated in Miami. Team won his first Masters 1000 title at Indian Wells on Sunday, but he's been on the cusp of stardom for a long time. A superbly conditioned, dedicated athlete, he can handle the heat and humidity of Miami, where he's seated no. 3. The Austrian leapfrogged fellow Indian Wells finalist Roger Federer in this week's rankings, dropping Federer to no. 5 in the world, but the Swiss icon is seated number 4 in Miami, due to Nadal's absence. Federer lost his first match in Miami last year, so he can pop right back into the mix, near the top of the rankings with a strong performance. Gail Monfils had to issue a walkover before his Indian Wells quarterfinal last week due to a strained Achilles. He's seated no. 16, but he's tied for the most wins this season, 15, with the no. 8 seed, next-gen standout Stefano Tsitsipas. John Isner, seeded number 7, has taken some tough losses this year. But Miami is where he turned around his dismal 2018 start, and he went on to have a career year. Oft injured Milos Ronic is coming on strong again and Nick Kyrgios appears to be on the rise once more despite a setback at Indian Wells. Both are seated outside the top 10, desperate for a winnow. 9 seed Marin Cilic, a Grand Slam champ, is an anemic 4-3 on the year. Grigor Dimitrov, ranked no. 4 a year ago at this time, has slumped to no. 29 in the world and hasn't played since the Australian Open due to a shoulder injury. David Goffin, ranked number 9 a mere 12 months ago, is no. 20 and a 6 to 7 on the year, he played a challenger tournament last week after losing early at Indian Wells, after a blazing start in Australia, next-gen star Francis TFO is just 1 to 5. American compatriot Steve Johnson is 4 to 6 with the clay court season looming. Both are low seeds, key potential matchups no. 15 seed Fabio Fonini, the crafty guy everyone hates to play, could meet Djokovic in the fourth round, with the winner to get the victor in a potential home run derby serving battle between Isner and Ronick. Kyrgios could face no. 5 seed Kenny Shikori in round 3, an all Russian next gen quarterfinal clash between Karen Kachanov and Daniil Medvedev seeded no's. 10 and 13, respectively, is a tantalizing possibility. If Thiem and Federer hope to reprise their Indian Wells final, Thiem likely will have to get past Djokovic in the semis, while at that stage Federer is penciled into me no. 2 seed and 2018 finalist, Alexander Zarev. Their series is deadlocked, 3 to 3, date event time ET, channel merch 19 women's first round 11 a.m. ESPN 3 March 20th men's.
ESPN 3 March 21st Men's First Round, Women's Second Round 11 a.m. ESPN 3 March 22nd Men's ESPN 3 March 26th Men's Fourth Round, Women's Quarter Finals 7.30 p.m. SP News March 27 Men's ESPN 2 March 31st Men's Finals 1 p.m. ESPN 2